So <clears throat> on our fifth day in Mallorca, we didn't really have a car anymore. So Beth and I, we decided to just hang around around the area. So there's this beach there. It's called Playa Blava. Yeah, maybe this is the right place. Ah, can you see Guru lagi? Oh, try the one, Beth. Question is, Beth, how much can you Like, do you wanna take the easy route or the more difficult but fast one? What do you want, Dari? No, I have so many um, things. So many. Things to carry. Things to carry. Like for example in life. Yeah, okay. <laughs> in life you have I have uh, so many but some colors. <laughs> 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 was saying that she already has so no, much I burdens in life that she doesn't want to add anything more. <laughs> so we'll do the easy route then. <laughs> so much burden already. <laughs> Why make yourself <laughs> <laughs> it's like a two kilometers walk from Arenal and uh, it wasn't really a beautiful beach but the view was amazing it was all rocks and uh, the, the water was crystal clear blue and uh, we met some middle-aged women there and they were very nice one of them was Victoria the other one was Elena and funny thing is because we were having a conversation and they were all topless so I've always wanted to ask if that's a common thing here in Spain. And uh, they said that, you know, there are some beaches that do that. There are those that don't. And um, they're just quite open about it, like doing nudity. And I've also heard that there's even a nudist beach in, in Mallorca. But like the thing is, like for the past five, five days, I've always um, seen a lot of topless women, and uh, I, I, I always thought that it was always just the, the older women who does that. But I've seen even the young ones do that, so I was a bit sh pleasantly shocked. But uh, maybe that's how it is here in Spain, because you know about the Philippines; it's quite conservative. And uh, I have no qualms in dropping trowel. I've done skinny dipping all the time, but most of it. Uh, but every time I do it, it it just happened to be with my fellow um, European friends. Beautiful viewpoint. It's so beautiful here. Quite relaxing also. Beth. Dia kamagi. <laughs> yeah, it was just a chill day actually. We just like um, explored all the different uh, places near Playa Blava because like we, when we went there, we chilled there. Then we head to another part of it until we slowly got back to Arenal. Then eventually uh, we went back to our favorite restaurant which is called El Nilo and uh, we have a favorite waitress there her name is Silvia but she's not sad though she wasn't there when uh, like for our last dinner it was an early dinner because we were planning to still eat later but we were so full already and we just had to have um, grilled squid So, the original plan was uh, Beth is going to eat squid and I was just having a, a Coke because I wasn't really hungry but when they served this, the squid, I was like, oh my god, whatever she's having, I'll have it. <laughs> so it ended up us eating, I think, around 5.30ish up to 6. It was too early for our standards, thinking that we would be eating later that night. However, uh, 
We didn't. Mm, I didn't eat dinner anymore. And Beth didn't eat dinner. I went outside. Um, I was having trouble with my Ryanair login, but uh, eventually it got sorted out. So I got so stressed I had to go to McDonald's and eat some fries just to comfort myself. So it was a chill and fun day in Mallorca. Um, also that night it kind of rained and it, it was sunny. And uh, well, Beth is in Dortmund now. Hi, Beth. So I'm in Madrid and... Uh, I'm gonna continue for a while, for a bit. Okay, so hanto the sunod. Daghang salamat sa pagtanaw, and I'm hoping all is well wherever you are. Okay, choose.